Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. Now this is a curious introduction, is it not? Well, it makes sense for me to just skip through most of the cutscenes in the second uh, New Journey file that I had, because I needed to get to the point where I was choosing to go with Ephraim, because this time, we're going to go with Ephraim to Grado, and, uh, and we're going to see his chapters. So, Prince Ephraim, is that you, Seth? I'm almost ready to depart. I'm leaving Erica in your care. Actually, my lord, we have the honor of riding with you. What? What about Erica? The princess informs me that she will be accompanied by a friendly escort. She tells me she does not need a large retinue with such a small ship. I understand, but we must be prepared for anything. I will be fine, Seth. Please go and attend Erica. Lord Ephraim, this is Lady Erica's wish. She implored us to lend our blades to you on the front lines. She spoke to each of us individually. She knelt before us and beseeched us to go. Her sincerity, her concern, we could not help but be moved by her plea. Oh, Erica. Very well. You will all come with me. But steal yourselves. This will not be an easy journey. I want only volunteers who are unafraid of meeting death. I'll let the others know. I must tell you, my lord, they are already preparing to par depart. They know the risks they are taking. Not a one will be deterred. So there we go. We're going to save over this file and we're chapter 9, Fort Rigwald. And uh, basically, Ephraim's uh, route is generally perceived as the tougher one. Uh, I feel like if you're a beginner and you've never played this game before, Erica's route is the good one to go down. Um, so yeah, Tower of Valdi has appeared, blah blah blah. You can go to it, and we already know about that. I can go and upgrade. Uh, so what I'm thinking about doing with Ephraim's chapters are, is that I'm going to try and use a lot of units that I haven't been using in Erica's one. Um, because I basically intend on finishing the game with Erica's route. So as soon as we're done with Ephraim's chapters, I'm going to go back to Erica and we're going to finish, just end the entire game with her and all the characters there. But uh, while we have Ephraim, we might as well just try out some different people because, um, you know, look, we're back here. Ross is a journeyman again. Like, look at him. He's level three. <laughs> He's uh, nowhere near what we have uh, in our file. So uh, I might want to be using different people and making people different things. So I might use Kyle instead of Ford. I might use Mulder. Uh, you know, I might make Colm with the Ocean Seal, who knows, uh, and maybe even promote Garcia early, or even use Vanessa instead of Tana, we could use Vanessa instead of Tana in this run through, and make her a Wyvern Knight and see how that goes. Uh, I think that's probably what I'm going to do, I'm just, uh, I'm going to use the people who I haven't been using so far, but uh, for the moment, uh, we're just going to jump straight to Fort Rigwald, I think, uh, I can do some training, uh, you know, off screen, so it's easy for me to just go and do Fort Rigwald, so. Ephraim begins his march south towards Grado from Castle Freilia. Upon conquering Rene, the Grado Empire has set its sights on Freilia. However, Ines and his troops, his troop, sorry, meet the invaders at the water's edge. Indeed. Against all odds, Ines halts the invasion, keeping Freilia's border intact. Ephraim coordinates Freilia's troops in an effort to advance the front lines. Unbeknownst to Ephraim, Grado forces are waiting for them at Fort Rigwald. They fortified their positions and planned to wait on Freelia's siege. <coughs> Undaunted, Ephraim remains determined to root out Grado. Indeed. Okay, <coughs> so <coughs> it's basically alternate timelines is what we're doing here because we will still get the same characters. The same characters will appear in Ephraim's route. Uh, but obviously, if they appear in Ephraim's route, how can they appear in Erica's route at the same time? Well, that's just the, the problem that we have. Oh, we, yes, yes. I don't know. I think I've already done this cutscene. Um, pretty sure I have, so I don't really want to be doing it again. Um, yeah, we have. I'm just going to skip that cutscene, honestly, because we've already done that one. So, uh, without further ado, I, we're just going to get into this. Let's let's get going. Um, hmm, let's have a look at the map. Okay. Yeah, fuck me. There's so many soldiers. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. Uh, also, Amelia is in this chapter, so we can get her again. And also, I believe that Tana is here somewhere. Can't quite remember. I think maybe she appears when we start the map. Uh, and we'll see her somewhere. Um, yeah, but for now, uh, I guess we just have to choose our units and, and sort out our positioning and everything. So I will go ahead and do that, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so the units that I've decided to bring are basically exact same as was given to me. I've dropped off Franz because I don't really need him, and I want to use Kyle in this uh, kind of... Ephraim chapter segment. 
Um, Mulder is just far too low a level for us to even bother with him at this point, so I'm just not going to. He's four, he's low, can't be bothered. I'm just going to roll with the guys that I have. I've given them a few new items. Loot needed an extra fire, so I bought one of those for her. Check map in terms of formation. I think that we're pretty much set, uh, honestly. We should be, um, should be good to go. So that's what we're going to roll with. Uh, so let's, without further ado, just jump into it. How about it? Oh, Tana. Poor Tana being pushed away into the dungeon cell. Tana. Oh, what a fool I've been. I came all this way to help Ephraim, and I get, end up getting captured again. The general gave us the creepiest eyes and that laugh. Oh, hurry, Ephraim, please. Hurry and rescue me. We shall hurry and rescue you indeed, girly girl. First of all, we're going to get Guas Guasia. Guasia with his hand dex. Actually, I'm going to bring him here. It's probably a better place to put him. He can deal with these guys throwing his hand axe through the air sometimes, saying, Hey, yo, it's a hand axe. Repetition of lines from former LPs, I must say. Okay, um, yeah, Colm's really low level, so I don't want him messing around. Uh, oh shit. Okay, that's not good. I'll just put Ephraim there, actually. Ephraim can uh, equip the steel lance, and he can kind of form a barrier. That's perfect. Good. Okay, great. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll put you there. Naming Calm. Get that. Uh, support. Even though there's really no point in me doing any supports because I'm not gonna. I'm gonna end up basically not uh, not using this file for the end game. So it doesn't really matter on that front whatsoever. I could do some random support conversations if I get them, but if not. So be it. Okay, so yeah, we actually we can control Tana as well. Uh, she technically is just one of ours. Also, Amelia is here. Uh, I forgot to mention she is. Uh, did I mention that already? Maybe I did mention that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, yeah. So she, yeah, if we move Tana, she's gonna get attacked by the mage. There's no point. We'll just leave her in the corner. She'll be fine on her own. So we'll end the turn there. Hopefully, we'll be all right. All right, Garcia, jump out of the way. That's what I'm talking about. That's the ticket. Excellent. But man, there are so many enemies on this map. So many. It's going to be difficult. Alright, yes, we can take this guy down too. Oh, alright, we can dodge out of the way in. We can uh, dodge away next turn. We can heal with Natasha. Natasha. Fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. Alright. Good job, Garcia. Uh, clearing out the way there. Uh, we want to get you healed, though, so we shall uh, use the staff to heal. Quickly do that. Pop that on there. Get Ephraim. Actually, no. I don't really have. Okay, I, get, I have Joshua as a sword user who can deal with these guys. I don't have Gus. Ooh. Does this guy have a longbow? Uh, he doesn't. No, it's a steel bow. That's fine. That's fine. In that case, we'll get Garcia. Yeah, okay, I don't want, I want to be out of the range of those guys, but within range here. Okay, item, iron axe, equip. I think we should be okay there, as long as these guys don't have hand axes. They have iron axes, both of them. Perfect. Ephraim can go here. Vanessa, follow suit, and then we'll just kind of feed everyone through slowly and carefully. Because, uh, man, it's going to be tough otherwise. Oh, we are kind of, uh, kind of weak to take on this map. As you can see, there are so many, so many enemies. There are many enemies. There are many enemies everywhere. All right. God, you're gonna go after Vanessa? Really? That's nasty. Ow! Freaking hurt, man. It's sore. It's really not nice whatsoever. But we do have Natasha on hand, so it matters not. We do. Do we have the angelic robe? Or did I give that to Luke before we got to Erica's route? I honestly can't remember. I can't remember what happened with the angelic robe and what didn't happen. Jesus Christ, look at all these fucking soldiers! Holy crap, man. Oh god, don't you... Oh, nothing that I hate more than fucking sleep ones. Berserk ones, who I hate more, clearly. But, god, sleep ones. Man, this is a really hard chapter in comparison to like what Erica's route had to do. I'm telling you that. Alright, uh, yeah, we have the Iron Blade. Let's finish this guy off with the Iron Blade. Joshua can, can deal. Uh, and then let's have Natasha heal up. 
Who should we have? <laughs> well, first of all, we've got obviously Ephraim can take these guys down with Rain Leaf or alternatively. Yes, yeah, so the thing is, I want to use the Rain Leaf, but it's such a good weapon that I don't want to waste it. So it's kind of that trade off, really. We'll get Loot to finish this guy. We do have Arthur as well. He's a little bit further back, so maybe he won't be able to engage on this turn. Yeah, he's a bit too far away, unfortunately. But he will be able to do stuff soon enough. Uh, mm, mm. Right, Garcia. Use a hand axe here. That will that'll do. And then we can get Naomi to use the bow on the other horse. That's what I'm thinking. Yup, here. Iron bow, nine times two, that's not bad. And then we can finish off the horse with someone else. Yes, okay. Trying to get everyone involved here, share around the experience, you know, it's all about sharing and caring and fire up them. You know what I'm saying. Okay, Colm probably won't be able to do any- oh, six. Yes, he will. Uh, 77% chance. I hope you're able to land this, Colm. No! Oh, God, you useless sack of shit. Come on. There we go. That's what we're talking about. That's what was needed, Colm. Right, he's up to level eight. Good. Ugh. It's like going back through the motions. All these guys are such low levels. Alright, heal you up real quick. Fantastic. And we just have this archer to contend with the next turn. I think I'm going to bring Ephraim down. It's more of a target, honestly. Uh, yeah, good. Okay, let's end the turn. Fantastic. Oh no. Jesus. Oh, ow, that hurt. Jesus. I'm so glad that I didn't get hit last time because I would have been shit out of luck. If I got hit by the horse guy, Colm would have died. And it's never something want to happen. Never, ever, ever. Not at all. Okay, good. So, we need Colm to be healed. We'll get Natasha down here. She can heal him up. On the go, there we go. She can heal up what's-his-face next turn. Let's just finish this guy off. Get our revenge! Oh, literally cutthroat. He is literally cutthroat. He just goes for the jugular. Jugular. I always love that word. Jugular. It's a very uh, onomatopoeic word, should we say? Okay, I'm actually going to equip equip the rain leaf uh, against these guys because they oh, shouldn't be able to do much to Ephraim if he has the rain leaf because he will murder them. Out of their faces. Fantastic. Fantastic. Absolutely. Uh, Amelia needs to be recruited by Ephraim, actually, because I've left Franz behind. Franz is the alternative person to recruit uh, Amelia. Um, obviously, it's the same thing on Erica's route, but I use Erica on Erica's route. And I can use Ephraim on Ephraim's route. It's no worries, no bother. It don't matter. Uh, I think I kind of forgot to mention that the partial reason that we're not using Tana as well is because she has no weapons, so she can't actually attack anyone. Plus, she's kind of locked in a room, so... If she had a javelin or something, you know, then she could actually take on the mage that's standing outside her door, but not to be the case. Ephraim just doing, doing the work here with this ring. It actually doesn't matter how much I use this thing, because when we get back to Erica's route, He'll still have all his Rainleaf uses left. Why does she keep going after Kyle? Why? Does he have the lowest resistance or something? Or the lowest, like the highest amount of chance to be hit? 28 is pretty low if it's the highest amount of chance to be hit. I don't know, man. We'll send Kyle down here to deal with these goons. These Egypts. Uh, oh, Arter's in a little bit of pickle there. Um, I'll get Naomi here. And then Ephraim will kind of stick here with Steel Lance to boot. Uh, Garcia can go down, but we also need Garcia to be really damn healed. We'll do that next turn. Could have done this turn, but no. Too much shit going down. God, Gilliam is so slow. I mean, like, not slow, but, you know, he can't even move anywhere. Okay, let's end it. Let us end. Alright, go for Kyle, that's good. Get him some XP. Some EXP! I still stand by my, uh... My theory, it's not really a theory, I still 
stand by my idea that those soldier guys are the weakest enemies in the game. They're really super pathetic. They're really, really quite bad. Never really do too much. But that's how I go sometimes. I guess this guy has a door key, so we want to grab that off him. Yeah, we definitely steal lance we want to go for. Uh, I'm pretty sure he will. If not, then we have Colm, obviously. He will be able to unlock the giant gates! The giant Fort Rigwald gates! Look at these things, they're massive. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we need to prepare ourselves to deal with these guys. So I'm going to get the heavy spear with Ephraim, seeing as he was given it. Or he gained it, should we say. I could give the heavy spear to Vanessa, but she's a little bit light or whatever. Um, Alright, okay, so I'll get Garcia to go down here. Then we can get Natasha to heal him. Ba -ba -ba. It's all about optimal movement. Oh, she's leveling up too, 16. Not bad. Uh, yeah, it's all about optimal movement, and that is that is how we're gonna deal with this. Do, do, do. I don't know. I just have this feeling that this LP is gonna be quite a bit shorter than my Fire Emblem Seven LP. Even though, well, I guess technically, like there are twenty chapters in this, so it is quite a bit shorter. But if you add in the Ephraim chapters, then it's essentially the same length. But then there are quite a few X chapters, I guess. There are quite a few X chapters in Fire Emblem Seven, so that also factors into it. I don't know, I have a feeling this is going to be around 50 to 60 parts. Although, if you take into consideration, I just completely missed the fact that that guy had a fucking horse slayer. If you take into consideration that I'll be doing the Tower of Valny once and the Ruins once, um, then you could kind of say, well, you know, that may extend the length of this LP quite a bit because the Tower of Valny is loads of floors and that could be like every two floors could be one part so it could last a while you know it's, it just depends on how I split it up really um, I'm gonna open the door next turn just don't want all these guys flooding me is the point of, uh, I'm not quite doing that yet so all right, loot. Um, Gilliam, you just chug along, my friend. Just chug straight along. Alright, we need to heal Kyle next turn. God damn, all these fucking people. Right, we need to make sure Amelia's movement is... Okay, so that's her movement. We can get Ephraim to here, and then Ephraim should be able to recruit her. That's the plan, anyway. Okay, we'll get the door. Ephraim, with his heavy spear, can knock out one of these guys. And then I'll get... Hmm, who should I get to knock out the other Garcia, maybe? Uh, he can hand axe. That's always useful. Oh, he's only going to do 11. We might as well just get rid of the final hand axe. Chuck it his way. Oh no, it broke. That's a shame. Um, we do have Naomi, who can be rather useful. Uh, Natasha, that's what I'm going to do. Heal. Heal up Kyle. Uh, now Kyle can go over here and steal Lance is still not going to be enough for the straight kill. Maybe Arthur, but the thing is with Arthur is now he's going to get assaulted by the two soldiers. And I've got awkward positioning, man. I just have awkward positioning at the moment. You know what? I'm just going to leave that. I'm just going to have people move up a little bit. But we're just going to leave, leave it as is for the current time. I'm not going to engage. Sometimes the best the best offense is a good defense, as they say in many sports. I don't know, I don't, I don't pay enough attention to sports, so I wouldn't know. Oh, God, Amelia's... I didn't realize that Amelia would just start coming down and trying to attack us, but she's being on the offensive, it seems, which is rather curious, I have to say. Very curious indeed. Hopefully I can just... Ah, oh, I can't kill that guy. Right, I need to get rid of that guy with some kind of ranged attack. Jesus, because they're all blocking me off, man. They're blocking me off. I need to get to Amelia before she starts attacking people. Oh, everyone's moving out now. Everyone. He has a longbow. God damn, really? See, this is just an onslaught here. It's not nice. Four fucking guys still. And reinforcements. Fan bloody tastic, I tell you what. Okay. Well, we can finish this guy off with Naomi. That's for certain. Uh, we then have some magic users who can also intervene. 
Um, we'll have Garcia with the Iron Axe to just cut this man down to size. And then Ephraim can just kind of go through that gap, pick up Amelia, and then we can run away with her with Kyle or even Vanessa. Um, let's just grab her first of all, though. Let's talk. What's up? You're Grotto Soldier, but you're just a child. I'm not a child! I'm something better! Anything I haven't done is fell on me! Is that so? You have a rather strange and interesting voice. Guess I'm ready then. Um. Is that the stance you're going to use? You'll drop that lance that way. I'm Prince Ephraim of Renee. Why don't you surrender and come with me? What do you have to do with me? Calm down. As long as you don't try to stop me, I won't do a thing to harm you. You lie, you lie. I don't know Prince Ephraim of Renee. It's a bitch of a dad and a Right, this has gone far enough. I'm not going to hurt you if you're scared. Throw down your weapon and run away. But, if you're willing to listen, I'd like to ask for your help. You must realize this whole war is madness. Ma 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 mad, mad, mad. Eh? Uh, I'm... Well, I guess you're part of my team now. And I guess you need to just run away. Basically. Uh, wait, I'm gonna rescue. And I'll just get Kyle down here. Now, time to deal with the rest of these ruffians. Uh, we'll get Joshua up here, actually. Uh, Iron Blade to take this guy. And then I need to have someone to eliminate the archer, but that's not going to happen because I don't have a longbow. Which is rather annoying, but such is the case. Uh, 12 times 2. Yeah, that is enough. Come on, man. Do the maths. The maths. Not like these American. The math. Do the maths. What about the maths? That is one thing that's interesting. That Americans say maths. Anyway, we'll talk more about maths next time because it's the end of the video. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.